Hey everyone, you're back with Lou today. Today I have a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial for you all. If you're interested in seeing my other Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial, which I did, I think it was like my second or third video, I'll link that below so you can check that out. Once again, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. See ya! To start, I'm going to use Maybelline's Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This stuff's like a really weird like gel formula. I'm just going to pop some of this Mango Kiss Lip Balm on my lips because they are a little bit chapped at the mo. This stuff is so good, it smells amazing. And it's made in New Zealand which is awesome. Supporting local industries, so it's pretty cool. Alrighty. For foundation, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, and this is in True Nude. I'm matching it to my fake tan. Just popping that all over my face. Do, 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 do. So this is a really moussey thick formula, but I really like the way it applies and wears. And it's super cheap as well, just from farmers. To conceal any blemishes, I'm using Studio Finish Concealer by MAC in NC35. Round your nose. Now I've noticed on Kylie's Instagram that she's had quite intense highlighted zones, so I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in Porcelain to contour uh, sorry, to highlight, which will be quite a, um, quite a contrast to the colour that I've currently got on. I've heard amazing things about this Pro Concealer, but I really like the formula, but I feel like it's just really hard to squeeze out of the container. And I am going to use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush to blend that all in. For a cream highlighter, I'm going to use the Soleil Tan de Chanel. Really buffing that into my hairline. And to set those cream highlighting zones, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. First of all, I'm taking the middle colour, Lyric, and my Real Techniques setting brush, and I'm going to set that banana powder underneath my eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for the rest of my highlighted zones, I'm going to use the shade Levitation, which is more of a vanilla coloured setting powder. I'm going to take that down my nose. On my forehead. Now I'm just going to hop back one step as we are doing a Kylie Jenner inspired look. We need to start prepping for those big lips now. So I'm going to take some of my cream bronzer and I'm just applying that underneath my lip. And that's going to bring help pull that back so it appears bigger. Now to contour, I'm going to use the middle shade, it is called Shadow Play, and I'm going to take my MAC 168 brush, and start on my cheekbones using this angled side. The weather right now in Christchurch is so depressing, it's like raining and storming outside, it was snowing yesterday. And using the more um, rounded side, I'm going to do my forehead. Again, 
Right, so time to move on to brows. Kylie Jenner has quite a strong arch brow and she also has rather dark brows. So I'm going to color mine in and give them a wicked arch. So I'm filling in the middle first, tapping off the excess, and then the tail. So I'm just accentuating that wee arch. And then whipping it through the front. And then running that spoolie back through to diffuse any harsh lines. Alrighty ho, moving on to eyes. To prime, I'm using Painterly Paint Pot by MAC, popping that all over my lid up to my brow bone. And then for a base for the pigment I'm going to use, I'm using Rubenesque Paint Pot, which is a sort of orange gold based paint pot. Paint pot. I'm just popping that on my lid up to my crease. So the pigment I'm going to be using is Melon by MAC. And I'm going to use this angled brush by MAC to apply it. And I'm just spraying it with Fix Plus. So for the rest of my eyes, I'm going to use this Dream Catcher palette by NYX in Golden Horizon. And I'm going to use this Shimmer Champagne shade to highlight my brow bone. And I'll put that in the inner corner as well. And then for my crease, I'm going to mix in these two sort of light brown shades right here. I'm going to start with that lighter shade and sweep it through to the crease right to the front of my eye. And then I'm just going to focus that slightly darker brown shade on the outer corner of my eye. And then blend. Blend till your heart's content. And then on my bottom lash line, I'm going to pop that darker brown colour on it. I might mix a few of the browns in actually. And my waterline, I'm going to use Smolder by MAC, which is just a black eye curl. You can use any eyeliner that you have at home. And then taking it on my MAC 212, which is like a dense flat top eyeliner brush. Just working that colour all on it. And then I'm going in up under my lash line. To thicken up that black line. Using Mystery, which is the colour I use for my brows, and a pencil brush, I'm going to go back in under my lash line and add some more brown. Kind of helps to give it more of a smoky effect. And using that middle colour I used to contour with, I'm going to put that in my crease. To line my upper lash line, I'm going to go back in with the flat top MAC eyeliner brush and some smolder and just press that in to my lash line on the top. I'm going to go under in my type line. Mascara time using the L'Oreal Telescopic. Alrighty, I'm going to come back to falsies and now moving on to blush. I'm using Romantic Rose Powder Blush by Milani. It's sort of like a mauvey pink colour. It's the closest I personally had of what I could see 
she was wearing on her face, so. And to make my face glow highlight styles, I'm gonna use Global Glow Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. And I'm gonna apply it with my fan brush, just on the top of my cheekbones there. And I'm gonna bring it into my brow bone area, down the center of my nose, make cupid's bow. Moving on to lips, I'm using Misbehave Lip Liner by Australis. Kylie doesn't have a very defined cupid's bow, so I'm sort of slightly drawing over mine. Just colouring that in. And over top also by Astralis, I'm going to use the, the, the Lower Lips Matte Lip Cream in Paris. So it's like a brown nude colour. It's almost got like a hint of pink in there too, I think. This is going to give us that perfect matte Kylie pout. Tidying that up with some concealer. Righty ho, time to false up our life. So these are the Kiss True Volume Lashes. And I thought the way they sort of whisked in and out was very Kylie-like. And this is the final look. Thank you everybody who took the time out to watch this video. I do appreciate your support. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you on my next video. See you later. Bye.